Hello everyone. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to create a dumbbell in Maya. Okay. So it's a very uh, basic and simple uh, introductory tutorial on uh, modeling techniques. Uh, so if you have created the car and the uh, snowman, uh, then this would be the next step for you. And if you are an absolute beginner to Maya, then you can look at the other two tutorials to get uh, acquainted with the interface. So let us see how to model a dumbbell like this from scratch. So I'll go to file a new scene and I will save this one. Okay, and then uh, you can see there's no grid. So I'll go to show and grid. I'll create a polygonal box. It's a channel box. Here you can see the um, position, rotation and scale values uh, and some other information about the box that you have created. Okay, so we're going to convert this box into a dumbbell. Okay, so if you click on uh, two in the keyboard, you will see the small smooth version of the box. If you sub make the mesh into smooth, then it will look like this. So it's a two on the keyboard. Now we need to access the uh, elements of this geometry. So anything in uh, Maya is uh, made up of vertices, which are these dots. And you can see that if I move them, the geometry will be deformed. And if I go to one, you can see how the box is getting deformed. And two will show the smooth shaded version of that. So I'm undoing that. So this is the vertex. And then there are edges. So a line connecting the two vertices are called edges. And then you can manipulate the edges are also. And then if you right click and then go to face, then you have these faces, okay, which can be manipulated as well. So that is the basic uh, elements of what this geometry is made up of. Okay, so we are going to modify these elements, uh, create more geometry, and then in the end it will look like a dumbbell. So first thing we need to do is create the handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit mesh and click on extrude. Okay, and when it extrudes, it creates one more face. So if I move this face, you can see that another face is created. I will undo that. I will click on the scale tool and I will simply scale the extrusion in. Okay, so I get an additional geometry here. If I move that, you can see how it looks. I don't want to move it. What I'm going to do is now hit the shift key and then move and then you can see the extrude command comes so now we have extruded the handle out okay so if i go to one again this is what we get and if i undo it this was what we did we extruded and scaled it inside and then shift and move it out and then two to see the final result okay so i will hit the delete key and then i'm going to get rid of this polygon here all right so this is half of our dumbbell now what we can do is um, go to object mode right click and then go to object mode go to edit duplicate special and we're going to instance it in negative one okay and then apply it so you can see that we have created an instance of this. So whatever changes we make to this one, this one will be affected by it. For example, if I go to the vertex, select this vertex and move it up and down, the other one is getting affected also here. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go to mesh tools and I'm going to use 
insert edge loop okay so i'm going to add an edge loop here okay so that i have a sharper uh, joint between the handle and the dumbbell okay and then i'm going to use the g key on the keyboard and i'm going to repeat the same tool and then i'm going to add an edge loop here so if i if you go to one you can see how an edge loop is geometry added in this and then i have another edge loop added here okay so when i add edge loops the edges become less smooth okay and then i will add another edge loop here okay so that uh, you get the same look which is here on this side and then you can manipulate it visually so that they are equal in distance and now i'm going to right click and go to vertex mode select all these vertices and move this close so that the dumbbell is not too wide so all these three i will try to make them similar okay and your dumbbell is ready but the dumbbell is made up of two parts so what i will do is i'll select one part and delete it i don't need this anymore and i'm going to select this one i'll go to mesh and i'm going to use the mirror tool and i'm going to mirror it and now it is not mirroring in the right axis so axis i'm going to change it to x but again it is in this side we want it on this side so if i move it here it disappears so direction i will make positive okay and then i want i don't want it too long so i can decide how long i want it okay and that looks good so now you have an one object dumbbell and now what i will do is if you go to one it is still uh, this is the actual geometry so we need to go to edit mesh and actually mesh and <clears throat> we want to smooth it okay and the divisions i have used is two and now one is like this two is also the same as one okay so this is your final dumbbell now if you go to the channel box it will show you all the steps you have done okay you started with the cube you extruded it you moved it you extruded it so all this history is not necessary after you are done modeling so you can go to edit delete by type history so now all the history is deleted and only the clean mesh of dumbbell is remaining so all i have to do is control d to duplicate I simply moved this I rotated it and then type 90 degrees here in the channel box and then I got a dumbbell which is lying down on the ground and another dumbbell which is lying flat on the ground okay and that is it so it's a simple assignment to learn a little bit about box modeling hope you enjoyed the tutorial and keep tuned for more tutorials to come thanks bye